day. It's Monday, May 9th, 2022, and I just felt like making a video. Um, my heart's been calling me to get back into this again. I did a live a couple days ago, and I can't watch it back. So, if I make a video, it's going to take so long to post anywhere that I don't know if it will. But if I, but at least I can watch it back as many times as I want. If I do a live, everyone can for sure see me and I don't have to wait for it to post. But I can't necessarily watch it back. So I'm just like, <laughs> because the biggest thing that helped me in 2017 when I started this journey of conscious change, um, conscious, intentional, meditative growth, healing <sighs> that I really need again right now <laughs> is uh, I just I started making videos and it changed my life. I, I would make a video and I would watch it back as many times as it took. I had never seen myself and heard myself. And it was the most healing thing I ever did. And I felt better and better with each one. And braver and more confident and more, you know, comfortable in my own skin. And for a while now, I kind of hermited and... Uh, barely ever made a video it's just like anything else in my life I um I've never been that person that Monday through Friday nine to five consistent you know I've always consistency's never been my strong point I've always been that artist that you know expansion and contraction like breathing you know Tara Cameron pointed that out to me once when I was talking in a mastermind group about consistency, you know, and she said that her husband's an artist and he goes through the same thing. It's, it's the expansion and contraction, expansion and contraction. She said, it's like breathing in it. It always comes back. Don't worry. <laughs> and, and, and I've learned, I'm so glad she told me that because I've really learned to work with that a lot better, but I've noticed that I, I feel that it's time to put myself back out in front of people again. There's so, I'm so different. There's so much that has changed in the last even six months since we moved to Virginia and gave up the RV life. I don't know. I think back, there's times when I would journal a lot and there's times when I didn't want anything to do with writing. There's times when I would be very communicative with other people and then there's been times when I've really withdrawn and not wanted to talk to anyone. Lately, there's just been, I don't know, I feel like I'm in the waiting room. There, I know um, I've been getting messages from every direction that I'm going through some kind of change and there's going to be some big new thing coming and it's going to be jarring at first maybe a surprise but then it's going to be really good for me and my growth and where I'm headed and I have no idea what that means but I've received that message seven ways to Sunday from every direction like tv shows humans reading things just I just keep getting the message something's coming chill out well I'm an Aries son I'm not a patient person <laughs> <laughs> it makes fun of me because I'm like the most impatient person he's ever met. And I'm like, I want everything right now. <laughs> and we just laugh. We just laugh at how ridiculous I am. Oh, I just noticed my glasses. One thing I talked about in my live the other day, I sat on my glasses. That's why I'm not wearing the blue ones anymore. Luckily, whenever my glasses, whenever I get new glasses, I always save the old ones. So I laughed when I sat on the blue ones. They were so scratched and damaged anyway, like they really needed to be replaced. Sure enough, these old ones <laughs> were in much better shape than the ones I had been wearing. So I'm wearing these ugly black glasses, but at least I can see better out of them, even though they're an older prescription because <laughs> they have less scratches and, and less problems on the lens. So, and it's always something... 
we don't have um, it, it. The biggest lesson in the last six months has been to learn to trust. We do not have um, steady, reliable income. We both have things that we do that like I'll make some art and sell it and get some income. He'll do his herbalism, get some income. We, we, we are building a very specific future. We've spent a lot of time working on this land. Well, he has, I, I don't work on the land, but I do whatever he needs me to do um, to keep our life going. Um, but we, we haven't built yet a steady stream that, of income that we can count on. We know, you know, and whenever we get money, I just pay the bills like six weeks ahead or, you know, as far ahead as I can so that we can just take a breath. And, and um, so there's a lot of things that we just haven't been able to do yet. So that, you know, I ha wasn't able to replace my glasses. Well, the universe replaced them for me. <laughs> I need some dental work on a tooth that's like I have a problem. Well, if I get some money and, and the bills are paid a month out, then I'll go ahead and get dental work, whatever. It'll happen when it's supposed to, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm really proud of myself because it's a huge, huge accomplishment that I have been able to not live in, oh my God, when's the money coming in? We have no money. <laughs> I have come so far. I used to live in lack. I used to obsess about what I didn't have. When's it coming? Where is it? What's happening? Now I've come so far the other way. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, I should probably look at the bill calendar and make sure everything's cool. <laughs> like, I can't even believe how different I am now. That is something that I'm super, super proud of. Um... Sorry, I got a notification. I got distracted. Yeah, I'm I'm really, really proud of myself. I have gotten so good now at um, everything is fine in this moment. And some of that, too, um, some of that was just the seizures. I, You know, I have seizures, and it just changes your entire perspective on life when you could have died 10 minutes ago. Stuff that seemed important an hour before that isn't important anymore. All that's important is that you woke up and, and having epilepsy just has so changed everything about who I am, how I see the world, how I think about other people, how I, and sometimes it's hard it, uh, sometimes, oh, there's a cat outside the window. There's outdoor cats. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's wonderful. Sometimes it's the most wonderful thing in the world to only, to only be right here, right now, and see all the goodness. I live much more now in gratitude. I soak, I marinate in gratitude for the simplest things. And, and that has changed so much about our life because like, I am just so grateful when I have a day that I feel good. My tongue isn't chewed up from a seizure. I'm clear in my cognition and I remember important things. That's a really good day. I don't have time to dwell on things that don't apply to me. Um, so that has tremendously changed, like, who I am, how we live. It's very cool. And I see it now that I've been more this way a lot longer. I see it like overflowing into other parts of our lives. Um, I see where me not stressing about money and bills and oh my God, you know, every single day. <laughs> I see how that has taken so much pressure off of both of us. And it's just, you know what? It is what it is. This is where we're at today. This is what we're going to deal with today. Here's our list of dreams that we want to have 
in the future. Here's our list of things we would hope would happen if we fall into alignment, if we keep working in this direction. Like we know what we're building, right? We know the foundation we're trying to build right now. And we know what kind of house we want to build on that foundation. And we know what kind of yard we want around the house. You know what I mean? But we know we're here today doing everything we can toward that vision. And that's good enough. And it just, it really feels so good to be in that. It's, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, some days are hard. Some days I wake up and I... I have to remind myself of things happening in my life. I don't always remember. Um, I have memory issues. I don't always remember, you know, what I said yesterday. So I might ask a question that I asked yesterday and I asked the day before. And he has to understand that I'm not nagging. You know, like you would think, you know, I told you, it's this, you know, stop nagging me. But he always has to, you know, sometimes I remind him, um, you know, I'm not nagging you. And, and he's not, like, he's he understands. But I just, for my sake, I have to tell him, you know, I'm not nagging. I honestly don't remember if I've asked you this three days in a row. Today, I don't remember, and I need to, you know, to put that out of my head. I just need to have an answer. And so it's, it's just a very interesting life that we've learned to live around the epilepsy. Um, and being an artist is kind of the perfect thing. It, 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 it's, you know, it's another reason that I can't even be upset about the epilepsy because it's forcing me. <laughs> to be the one thing I really wanted more than anything else in my life was to just be an artist, a writer, a philosopher, someone who has ideas and wants to share them with the world. You know, whatever that looks like through whatever medium, whether I make videos, whether I write a book, whether I make an art, you know, piece of art to hang on the wall uh, or stitch something or create something, that's the easiest thing to be around the seizures and the memory issues or, hey, today I can't talk because my tongue is chewed up. Um, there's times when friends call and I can't answer the phone because it hurts too much to talk. That's a lot of the reason I got away from making videos also. Um, because it just, I can't do anything, I can't do one thing relia reliably, um, necessarily because of my physical limitations. There's days when I am more Jody than I've ever been in my life. And then there's days when I'm lucky if I get a couple good hours before I'm just exhausted or just really, it takes so much more time too than I ever realized to attend to staying hydrated, taking all my pills, taking my tinctures, having all the alarms on my phone. Oh, it's taken over my life. <laughs> And sometimes it's like, all right, already, you know, but I don't know. It's, I just needed to talk. I just needed, I've just sat here in a funk today. Like I kept moving forward. I kept doing little things around here that I needed to do. And, you know, I ate and I took my pills and I hydrated and I walked the dog and she's ready to go out again. And I just needed to start talking. I've been quiet for a long time, and I can feel that I'm back in an expansion where I need to expel a lot more often until I don't. So, I guess that's today's video journal for May 9th, 2022.